Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about this website here called Basic Pitch. And this website allows you to drag in WAV files, audio files, and you get a MIDI file back. So you can convert audio to MIDI, right? And the good thing about this website is that it's first, it's open source, so you don't need to pay money. You don't need to log in. And you can just use this website here, so you don't need to install anything. If you don't like this workflow, um, you can go to the GitHub page here, because this is uh, open source. Uh, it's developed by Spotify. And you can download here some scripts and can use it on the terminal as a Python script if you want to. Or maybe you can develop a GUI application for it if you want to. But for me, actually, the website is just fine. and. Um, the the other benefit is that you actually don't upload anything to the website so here it says uh, note none of your audio is saved or stored it's all stays on your machine so it's basically processing within the web page so you can use this also offline if you load up here this web page and then you go offline with your laptop it should work completely fine so there's no audio upload whatsoever and I want to demonstrate to you in this video how this works and how good this works. So we have here um, a, some samples and this is pretty easy. We have a lot of information here already in the file name. So we know it's 172 BPM. We know it's G minor, so it's not very hard to figure out what's happening in the file. Also, the pattern of the melody is not very complicated but it's fine for the for the, dem for the demonstration so just track this in you can see it's already um, analyzing here the file within the website and then we get here an um, overview what's happening and it looks exactly like what we're hearing um, in the audio and all you have to do now is basically click download and it downloads here basically a file and we have to stand here in my um, Explorer and all we have to do is drag this into here and onto this track we have a pulley synth and then we can play and we can play this but you can hear it's in the wrong it's in the wrong speed setting or it's the wrong BPM setting and the thing about this is here it doesn't recognize the BPM setting but you can change this down here with the MIDI file tempo. So when you export this MIDI file, you can say it's 120 BPM, but we know this one is 172, All right? Something like this. And then you hit export and then you drag this in and it's different, you know, it's stretched out. So you can go into this example, which is 120 BPM, select all this and then, um, track this out here to four bars one two three four right so you get the same um yeah result basically but you can also type in 172 ppm and then you export basically the media file and you get this here so it sounds that it's actually the same thing so maybe drag this in here to the second the second um, channel loop this so right so we played the same rhythm we played the same notes uh, it's completely clean you don't need to clean up anything um, but like I said in the beginning uh, this example is pretty easy so it's a clear pattern it's a clear note pitches right so it's not that hard actually to figure out for yourself um, on your own manually so but i want to give you this as an example how this works here and maybe we can do here another one so this is heavily percussionistic <laughs> so it sounds more like um some uh, noise samples through a resonator or something like this so it's pretty peaky so we track this in here and you can see there's no notes recognized maybe this one on this one right so we can play around here down with the 
with the sliders a bit because this gives you a lot of options. We know it's 172 BPM, so we can dial this in here already. And you can see we can change your node segmentation modal confidence threshold. So we can pull this down to get more nodes. So maybe 0 0.25, so we get more nodes, right? So maybe 0 0.15, so something like this. So there's already something happening. If you pull this down even more, can see we can a lot of noise here already in so 015 is perfectly nice so download this download midi pull this in here it also sounds like it's exactly what we heard before yeah with this example yeah So you get all the nodes from this example out here uh, perfectly fine and you can build a scale from this maybe you have some unusual scales in the in the sample so you can build scales from this and completely base your track around a loop or an audio loop you sampled from somewhere right and the good thing is that it also recognizes pitch bend. So I think there are also pitch bend informations in there if you pitch bend from one node to the other. Um, and you can also play around here with these nodes and clean up your MIDI file before and before you drag it into Bitwig actually. So it's a very nice way of working with samples. Would be nice to have this actually included in, in Bitwig, of course. But I think this is pretty nice also here to use so far. You can even record, hit record, and then just work with that. And like I said, the website is completely free. You don't need to log in or anything. And I get always here recommended this uh, plugin called SampLab. And it does basically the same thing, except that you have a plugin. You load in a VST plugin. And then you drag the sample into the VST plugin window and then you drag out the MIDI file. So it's kind of the same workflow, but here you have to log in and I think it's also, it costs money. Um, I don't know if the results are better or anything. I, in my opinion, you get the same kind of results. I uh, hear you can, um, distinguish between drums and bass and vocals, instrumental and so on. So it's maybe a bit better. I don't know. So you have to, yeah. Yeah, it's basically a decision you have to make what, what kind of thing you like better. But this one works pretty well for me. And I want to recommend this because it's free and it's open source. So you can build upon it if you want to. So I want to give a shout out to this website. The link is in the description below. Try it out. Um, and uh, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video and I see you in the next one. Bye.